Good afternoon. Uh, I want to thank the uh, CSRS for giving me the opportunity to uh, talk to you this afternoon. Uh, I also want to thank Michael Gerling and uh, the rest of the ICL uh, committee uh, for uh, helping uh, put this together. And I think this is an exciting session for everyone. So I've been given the uh, challenging task of talking about uh, the economic impact of these different material technologies. And we've just heard some excellent talks on some of the new materials that are available in spine, especially uh, in the anterior cervical spine and some of the potential advantages of these materials. So, you know, the reality is there's not much available to us to look at in terms of economic uh, uh, updates in terms of these material technologies, because no one has really done a direct comparison of all of these uh, technologies from a uh, monetary standpoint. Uh, as far as the talk, I have no relevant financial disclosures. I do want to acknowledge uh, the companies that have contributed to some of the slides that you're going to see uh, moving forward here. So we do have a uh, paucity of information. So I had to go directly to Dupuy Synthes and Medtronic, Titan, Globus, Stryker, K2M, Zimmer, Biomet, and uh, Nuvasiv to get some of the data that you're going to see. So as far as materials that are available to us, we've already gone through this with some of the previous talks, but really autograph should never be uh, excluded uh, from this conversation. We still consider that the gold standard, although it's rarely done uh, nowadays. Allograft uh, is still probably the uh, largest percentage of the market uh, in terms of what's being used, uh, but still uh, is kind of the, uh, the graph choice to be beat from a practical uh, perspective. Uh, then we have our uh, uh, peak uh, cages, which is a large percentage of the market, carbon reinforced uh, polymer peak uh, titanium, uh, silicon nitride uh, surface coated implants, uh, surface treatment of implants, uh, and different manufacturing techniques. So again, most of the uh, uh, science, unfortunately, here is, is really uh, soft. Uh, so there's not much available to compare these different materials. Most of the papers that we'll find in the literature are either talking about fusion rate, subsidence rates, overall alignment. Uh, very few of them get into the economics of any of these uh, period. Uh, sorry, uh, like I was dictating. Uh, we do have a few studies that fall into this kind of category where they look at one material versus another. Uh, and most of the time, this is going to be a comparison to either autographed or allographed. But I thought that this was a recently uh, done paper that shows kind of what's available in the literature and the, really the cost effectiveness of a uh, one level ACDF versus peak. You can see here where the peak is really uh, costing a little bit more uh, per quality uh, on average. Uh, and this is what we're typically seeing in the literature, although again, the, the, the uh, literature is quite sparse. In terms of uh, autographed, it's still, is it really the gold standard? I guess we could ask ourselves, but it is free, but does increase OR time, uh, pain disability, and potentially increase hospital stay, maybe another area where we can get an infection. Uh, or return to the OR. Uh, some people have, um, you know, advocated taking a local uh, graph from the manubrium, but uh, obviously some similar concerns. Uh, as far as allograft, uh, this is obviously the most uh, widely used uh, for ACDF at this point. Uh, and we have lots of graphs that we can cut ourselves, including radius ulna fibular graphs. These are mostly cortical. We've got uh, tricortical iliac strip, which are cortical and cancellous. And then we have our machine uh, graphs that are often uh, by multiple companies. Uh, and then we obviously have the options of fresh dried versus fresh frozen. Um, in terms of what allographs are commercially available, and obviously I've limited myself to the uh, implant companies that you've uh, seen and the acknowledgement slide. I just thought what I would do is I'd show the relative costs of each of these. So this is the cornerstone implant from Medtronic. Uh, the retail cost of this is 1150. You can see here a uh, cortical cancellous machine graph from uh, Depew uh, that is uh, running at about 1668. Uh, this is a more cancellous uh, allograph from Depew running at 1145. Another uh, uh, machine graph, which is cortical cancellous in the middle uh, from uh, Depew called the VG2 graft is around 1438. Uh, a few others, uh, this is uh, again, retail pricing only, unfortunately. I, I did not want to complicate this by including um, 
actual uh, contracted costs, although you can see that there are market differences between what retail and contracted costs are. Uh, but this is our invasive uh, triad uh, uh, graft, uh, which is a machine cortical allograft with cancellous core, uh, priced at 6100 and a, a machine cortical spacer, the triad CR, is uh, 5610. Uh, another allograft from Globus uh, is a machined allograft uh, cortical uh, graft, essentially 1135. So, you know, before we get into the peak uh, graphs, I, I thought I would include this in material only because it gives us a, a place of comparison. Uh, so we know these graphs, we've been using them for years. So how do our other graphs really compare to this? So moving into peak graphs, uh, I thought, again, I'll just uh, go through a very quick rundown of the different peak graphs that are available including uh, this peak uh, AVS uh, graph from Stryker uh, with a retail cost of 37.30. Here's uh, an example of a Medtronic cornerstone peak uh, cage at uh, 33.28, uh, an anatomic peak cage at 19.80. Uh, we've got the Stryker uh, graft at uh, 37.30, Nuvasive Corent uh, at uh, 56.10 to 6,800, uh, depending upon the degree or the angle of lordosis. Uh, this is a uh, Lanx Breckenridge uh, graft uh, peak cage uh, price at around $2,005. Uh, another uh, fairly simple peak cage from Depew Synthes ACIS graft at $2223. Um, the uh, Globus Sustained peak cage at $1,121. The Globus uh, uh, Colonial peak at uh, $1,275 to $1,400. Uh, this is a carbon fiber reinforced uh, polymer uh, graph from uh, Depew. Uh, we can see this is uh, the uh, 20, about the $2,000 price range. After uh, kind of going through the peak graphs, I thought we would go through some of the uh, peak graphs that have surface treatments. So this is a fairly new graph uh, that with this kind of porous peak end plate uh, from Nuvasive called the Cohere and uh, some early promising data showing that this may be a little bit less hydrophobic uh, at the end plates and therefore maybe encouraging more um, um, bone apposition uh, right to the end plate rather than having a more fibrous uh, reaction. But you can see the cost is a little bit uh, more as well, 8,500. We have other surface treated peak type cages including uh, titanium uh, end plate coatings. Uh, so this is one from Medtronic at 2378. Uh, this is uh, the equivalent option from Depew uh, with a titanium surface coating uh, that you can see over peak here at 2779. Here's the option from Globus, uh, uh, the uh, Colonial TPS surface coated with titanium. Uh, and that one was uh, 1535 to 1665, depending again on the degree of lordosis. So that covers our peak coated uh, uh, implants. The next group of implants that I thought we'd talk about would be uh, the uh, titanium cages. So this is a fairly simple Globus Sustain uh, titanium solid uh, milled uh, implant and you can see here 1121. Uh, this is an interesting uh, one in that it's the uh, Zimmer trabecular metal uh, titanium uh, at 3280. Um, then we have a 3D printed cage from K2M, the Cascadia, uh, $7,760. Uh, the Depew uh, Synthes Conduit uh, cervical is coming in at around 39.83. The Stryker Tritanium C, another 3D printed titanium cage, 7,760. Uh, Zimmer Biomet has a, a Trell OSC uh, 3D printed cage at 7,500. Uh, this is the Nuvasive Modulus uh, cage, which is another 3D printed cage uh, coming in at 8,500 to 93.50. Uh, another 3D printed cage from Globus here uh, at uh, $2,100. Um, then we have these um, uh, surface or nano textured surfaces uh, um, that have been advocated as uh, an osteobiologic uh, uh, equivalent. Um, and so we have like the Titan endoskeleton, which has a nano textured surface coming in at 9,095. Um, just for completeness sake, I thought I would throw in here some of the other titanium implants that we do see or peak cages that come with integrated screw devices to give us again a sense of where we are in terms of total cost if this is going to replace uh, a cage and on um, plate. Uh, so these are integrated uh, screw systems and uh, we, or fin systems. You can see this one uh, option K2M Chesapeake titanium coming in at 7700. 
uh, Zimmer Biomet has an option with these integrated uh, shims uh, that uh, unfortunately I don't have a cost on, um, uh, but a similar option here with screws. We've got a Medtronic uh, cage here, peak with integrated screws at $4,000. Uh, Striker ABS uh, anchored system here, peak with a titanium uh, plate and screw integrated cage system uh, that is about $8,000. Uh, here's the uh, co-rent uh, system from Nuvasive at $8,400. Uh, again, sorry, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get pricing on all of these. Uh, here's a Zimmer Biomet option 3D printed cage with uh, screws uh, coming in at around $7,500. And uh, one of our more costly options, the Titan endoskeleton. So this is that nano textured surface, uh, but then also with an integrated screw design is around $13,595. Um, Here's an option that is a peak at uh, differing degrees of lordosis, uh, zero profile from Depew uh, with a $6,000 to $7,000 uh, range. This is the option that they have uh, that allows you to use an allograph with this uh, uh, titanium uh, cage, uh, sorry, titanium uh, plate at around $6,200. Uh, here's another interesting system uh, from uh, Stryker uh, that involves a peak cage with a fin integrated fin system for around 11,800. We've heard uh, from uh, our previous speakers, uh, Dr. Uh, Anderson about uh, uh, silicon nitride. Uh, unfortunately, I was unable to get a hold of someone from CTL Medica to give me pricing on this cage, uh, but this is a, another material uh, that gives us another option between peak and titanium. So if we look at our peak cage options, this just gives us an idea of, of where things stand relative to each other. Um, and uh, you can see the different pricing of the different implants. And we've got some outliers here. So really the outlier here uh, is going to be the uh, uh, Nuvasive current for whatever reason, the Nuvasive system seems to be just a little bit overpriced, retail price at least. Uh, but the Nuvasive co here is, is a surface, uh, is the porous peak option. So we can really see that standing out uh, as, a, as an outlier here. For our titanium implants, as a general rule, they're all a little bit more expensive, uh, especially the 3D printed or more modern options uh, for these cages. Although we still have some cheap options uh, in the titanium group as well. An overall comparison here, looking at uh, allograft peak, surface coated peak devices, titanium, and uh, the uh, combined fixation cages. If we, if we ignore these for a second and really focus on the others, what we can see as a general trend is that the uh, newer technologies are costing more. So our 3D printed uh, uh, titanium cages or our nano textured surfaces uh, or surface coated or porous coated peak uh, cages are costing the most. And, um, you know, obviously our cheapest is allograft and then kind of working our way up to peak, uh, then surface coated peak and then kind of titanium 3D coated uh, implants and, and, and surface coated implants and obviously our combined uh, technologies. So these are general trends that we've seen for material costs is this allograft is going to be our kind of cheapest option. Simple titanium or peak really is going to be coming, coming next. Titanium coated peak implants are kind of a little bit more costly than our 3D printed titanium and porous peak implants probably come in next after that. Our all-in-one fixation devices uh, are a little bit more expensive than nano coated uh, or surface coated implants such as our porous peak or our uh, Titan style cages are going to be uh, a little bit more costly and then combinations of these newer technologies with fixation systems built in are the most costly trends. So uh, I thought I would end there and uh, hopefully we can go for some questions. Thank you very much.